it is very, very difficult to label Senge as as an OPF, especially without a proof. And uh, this is how toxic the Zimbabwean politics is. Uh, when there, there is somebody uh, challenging a, a popular leader within the opposition political party, automatically that individual is degraded to a member of the Central Intelligence Organization. I mean, this is how toxic, toxic the politics of Zimbabwe has been, or somebody used by ZANU PF. Uh, I have alluded also that while list the issue of uh, Sengezo Chaban, we may be raising valid points within the politics of Zimbabwe, but the timing uh, of these inter, I mean, intra fights within uh, CCC is not good uh, because it is actually killing the momentum uh, of the opposition. I think if there is anything uh, that uh, or any time that the opposition should be relevant, uh, it is now. If there is any time that the opposition should appear uh, to be united, I think it is none other than this time. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Tlonipani Mube Music TV, whereby we give you nothing but credible political analysis. Uh, we crack uh, our brains to the last uh, so that we make uh, political uh, events that are unfolding uh, around Zimbabwe and the entire world as simple as possible uh, to our viewers. So, uh, Patrick Chinamasa, as anticipated yesterday, decided to write a very, very a long statement, uh, and I'll be taking you. I'll be taking you through that particular uh, statement. One of the things that uh, Patrick Chinamasa did, he said, uh, Robert Mugabe would actually regard uh, Senge Zochabang as a man, uh, as a brave man. Um, he, he said, as a man with balls. Uh, simply meaning he is a brave man. Uh, he said, why would Robert Gabriel Mkabe do that? Uh, indicating that some of the issues that he is raising, they are popular within Matabele. Uh, that was his argument. And uh, he was quick also to distance Senge Zochabang uh, from ZANU-PF, saying the man is not from ZANU-PF. Uh, considering the fact that he is supporting uh, sanctions against uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, I think also I have indicated that from uh, what I have heard being said by uh, Senge Zochabang, I think associating with him with ZANU-PF for whatever he is doing would be misplaced. Uh, but what is apparent and what is my view is that whatever he is saying, uh, that can be located within CCC. Uh, this is an internal fight and the internal dynamics. Uh, something that also for the, I mean, I, I found myself uh, in agreement with some of the things that were said uh, by Patrick Shinamasa. Uh, he says, uh, this guy may not be working alone. Uh, he is working with some of the top brass of the CCC uh, leaders, but these are not verified, uh, I mean, facts. Uh, but I have always alluded that within CCC, uh, this problem cannot be, not everything that happens within the opposition political party uh, can be located from ZANU-PF. I think people should get that uh, very, very correct. Some of the problems that happens uh, within the opposition political party can be traced within the party itself. Uh, remember, every every time uh, the opposition has internal fights, uh, people locate these internal fights to ZANU-PF. Remember, during the tenure uh, of when there was a fight between Mok and Swangrai and the Welshman Mube group, uh, people appealed to the same Welshman Mube as the CIO. But when it came to the MTC alliance, we saw these guys coming together uh, and the people never bothered to ask how, on why is now uh, Tsangirai uh, getting together with CIOs, uh, putting CIOs in the board, uh, on board in the opposition uh, party politics. So this should tell you, this is a narrative, unfortunately, that is used 
uh, by supporters and somehow it is baseless. Uh, what is happening within the opposition uh, should not be happening. I agree with that. I think it's too early to be witnessing uh, these internal fights. Opposition should be at a point whereby it is united. United, uh, I, I, I mean, against its leader and then maybe fighting later on. We have seen uh, in some of the countries whereby opposition which do not see eye to eye when it comes to confronting the big bull, uh, they will ensure that they are united, they get together and they confront uh, that big bull. I think that is uh, fundamentally important uh, in, the, in the politics of Zimbabwe. So, uh, Patrick Chinamasa, uh, I mean, touting Senge Zochabangu as a brave man, of which uh, I, I can't be seen disputing that or agreeing with that, uh, but he is saying so because Senge Zochabangu, whatever uh, he has been doing or whoever is behind him, uh, and the rift that is existing within CCC has given ZANU PF an upper hand. Uh, and uh, obviously, did they uh, manipulate this situation constitutionally? Uh, to ZANU PF, they don't care about the constitution. But if they can uh, get an upper hand, particularly to defend themselves, that whatever is happening uh, within CCC, uh, it is an internal fight which they don't have control uh, over. They would manipulate the situation. They have manipulated. Uh, the situation, whether one likes it or one doesn't like it, uh, the, the, the by-elections of December 9, they are going ahead. If you see the president of Zimbabwe pronouncing it, the, he is law, by, by, by the way. Uh, Emerson Tambuzom Nangakwa is law when it comes to Zimbabwe. So these by-elections are going to go ahead. Uh, will CCC win this matter uh, in courts? It's 50-50. But uh, based on the balance of probabilities uh, regarding the current political setting in Zimbabwe, whereby the constitution is violated, whoever thought uh, that a military general would be sitting in a political uh, meeting, uh, violating the constitution of Zimbabwe, it is happening. Uh, people are making noise, but we know that noise doesn't change things. Uh, it means this will remain uh, the same. I mean, keeping quiet, writing long statements about it, it will be uh, debating on X spaces, on whichever spaces, even these spaces. Uh, but ZANU PF uh, does not only end at debating, they go ahead and implement their ideas. You may agree with them, you may disagree with them, but this is what uh, usually happens. So uh, Patrick Chinamasa is celebrating, uh, I mean, he is actually, remember ZANU PF before elections, they have been, uh, if you look at the, the people on social media uh, spaces, they have been brewing this division uh, because we saw during the campaign period, uh, the likes of Tendai the likes of Walshman Mude, not being at the forefront when it comes to campaigning for the opposition uh, political party. I once asked that question on whether these guys are united or not. And ZANU PF began to poke holes uh, on this, realizing that Tendai BT is not attending the rallies. Uh, Nelson Chamisa seems to be struggling uh, alone. Uh, but because he was, he is very popular within his party, he managed to get the desired uh, result. But uh, it could have been more if the likes of Professor Walshman Mube as well as the Diabit were also uh, assisting him. Uh, I mean, and also in this crucial time, uh, if these guys were working together, I can guarantee you that there isn't uh, any form of working together from the way I see things, there appears to be a rift between Walshman Mube as well as the David. Because since Senge Zochabangu came into the picture, the guys are quiet. Uh, we see people posting scriptures, posting statements that are very, very difficult uh, to analyze. Uh, uh, and the naivety appears to be quiet. He appears in some sections uh, having serious national debates 
but politically we don't see him uh, in the picture. So, guys, whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me, there is a serious problem within the opposition uh, of Zimbabwe. And I have said it, and I will repeat it again, you cannot, anywhere in the world, look at even in the United States of America, you can't get rid of experience, the guys. Experience means a lot uh, in politics. Look even in South Africa, very old people are holding ministerial positions. Why are they keeping them? Because they know that these guys have experience in running uh, the government. Uh, and even if uh, worldwide, they will tell you that experience matters. Uh, these guys in the process of of gaining experience, they have gained connections with, with within the leaders uh, of SATIC as well as the international community. They have connections uh, as far as in America and all the allies, uh, maybe of the opposition political party, so to speak. So, deciding to alienate them, uh, I think, was a mistake. And I can guarantee you, Sengezo Chabangu is not working alone. Uh, you, you heard him in a, in a press briefing, which he did uh, with Ezra Chisa Spanda. Uh, he, he made it point blank. Uh, he appeared to be a busy man. Uh, and uh, he, he, he was talking of consulting. Uh, and at some point, he was saying, uh, uh, Tendai Biti and Professor Walshman Mube, they will uh, actually take over. And we saw uh, Tendai Biti distancing himself, saying that was uh, prematurely, uh, saying the man was going to fall on his own. Uh, and a lot of supporters of Nelson Tamisa thought it was Nelson Tamisa. Anyway, I can't speculate on that one, but also I hold the same view that he was speaking about the similar uh, person. So, uh, it, at the moment, this division is not helping uh, the opposition. Why am I saying so? Even if Nelson Chamisa decides not to engage with these uh, top guys of CCC and say, I will keep a distance and I will uh, continue uh, to, 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 to actually forge ahead uh, with these other new guys. We will see Sengezo Chabangu recalling more CCC members of parliament and ZANU-PF will allow it because it is, at, it is an advantage for them to actually, they may actually come back uh, if uh, they, 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 I mean, if, if that happens, uh, because at the moment, Senge Zochabang appears to, have, to be having the power within CCC, in the brand CCC, uh, and uh, it, it may actually be hijacked or you, what, whatever you may call it, be taken. It, 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 we may see other people owning this uh, CCC and then Nelson Chamisa remaining without uh, the CCC. At the moment, they have maintained, Sengezo Chabang have maintained that Nelson Chamisa is still the leader, uh, but he is responsible for recalling people and also for fielding candidates uh, who will contest, uh, I mean, the next uh, coming by-elections. I have heard uh, some saying these by-elections would not see the light of the day. But do you think the courts of Zimbabwe can go against uh, uh, Emerson Dambuzom Nanga? But there is absolutely high probability that they would not, they would not be in a position uh, to do so. So at the moment, uh, the opposition is divided, and I think it takes a very, very responsible uh, leaders at the moment to go and uh, sit down. They need to sit down. Uh, make sure that they engage. Uh, because the way I see it, uh, the, the, it, the people will be continuing building new parties, contesting, and then this ZANU-PF will still be using the same uh, tactic to actually, at the moment you can see ZANU-PF is not involved, but they are celebrating what is happening. Uh, they would celebrate because they are the enemies of the opposition uh, and uh, they want the opposition to be where it is, where it is at the moment. Even if SATIC is to deliberate on the issue uh, of Zimbabwe, the opposition at the moment is not solid, it is uh, divided. 
uh, are you getting the sense? Uh, and, and so this makes the whole political uh, situation very, very, very disturbing. Unfortunately, people wants to, want us to say what they want uh, to hear, but I'm not here for that particular business. I say the things the way I see them. At the moment, the opposition appears not, their house appears not to be in order within itself. It should actually self-correct. It should work on itself, unite itself. How? I don't know. Because I, I, I the, there were so many people during the MTC alliance who were denying. Remember, it was contested in court. We were denying that ZANU-PF would manipulate that uh, court action and divide it. We saw it being divided. And at the moment, there are so many people who are busy denying it. You may insult or do whatever, it is your freedom, but it shows uh, your IQ in terms of actually comprehending very, very fundamental and important issues. Uh, at the moment, there is no way ZANU-PF would, would miss the opportunity uh, to, to dismantle if not to destroy totally the opposition, if the opposition presents such an opportunity, of which this is what I see happening. So Patrick Chinamasa writing such a long statement, uh, you can see that they are, they are happy people, and that statement is not only coming from him, it is carefully orchestrated from ZANU-PF, and they are intensifying the divisions, uh, making even the Nelson Chamisa camp not to trust some of the people who are within uh, the, the camp because they are pointing that there may be many people uh, who appear to be with Nelson Chamisa who are working with Sengezo uh, Chabab. That is what that statement was saying. And it is in the interest of ZANU-PF to, to, to actually push for such a, a rift and if the opposition allow uh, ZANU-PF to do so, then it's over uh, with them because timing in politics is everything. Thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember